yesterday. WCPO 9 News reporter Jessica Hart, Jessica Hart is standing by this corpse flower appropriately named what Jessica? Well, Adrian, the corpse flower is named Morticia, so they had a big contest here and people came up with all sorts of different names and Morticia was the one that stuck. Right now, she's not too smelly. You kind of get a whiff of her, but if you really get in there, uh, yeah, yeah, she, yeah, it's, it smells like trash on a hot summer day here. And joining me now is Shay Miller. And Shay, you guys had a little bit of a scare earlier this week that kind of required some delicate movements with Morticia. Yeah, so um, these flowers are very delicate. And on Friday, the, when the last bracket leaf, which is these bracing leaves, fell off, we realized that she was backwards. Um, so the the fold here was facing the back of the um, building. So two of our staff members um, had to very delicately move her millimeter by millimeter so that she could turn the right direction for the bloom. And you guys are also collecting something here from Morticia. What is that and how do you guys hope to use that going forward? Yeah, so a lot of something that a lot of people don't realize is that plants can also be endangered um, and the corpse flower is one of those plants. So here at the zoo, we have a center for research of endangered wild, wildlife and they actually also um, work with endangered plants and exceptional plants. So they are collecting pollen on the side here and we're going to do some research to figure out the best way to preserve the pollen and, you know, learn more about these plants. It smells really kind of coming out now oh, as yeah. the sun gets <laughs> up, but what is next for Morticia here? What's going to happen to her? Yeah, so um, in the next few hours um, and over the evening, we'll start to see um, the middle part of the plant start to soften and eventually collapse. Um, and then she will um, wilt completely and go back into um, a dormant stage and then eventually will come out as a big, almost tree-like structure. Um, and then we'll wait a really long time, um, seven years or so, uh, for the next bloom. Are, are you sad to see her go or are you, are you ready to have the smell go away? You know, I am really sad. It's been a huge thing for us the last couple of weeks is tracking her. Um, we've got some very dedicated members of the team that have been measuring her every day, taking her temperature, figuring out um, how warm she would get because we knew that as she got warmer, that's when we got closer to blooming. Um, so it's been a big undertaking for everyone on the team. Um, and so it's kind of sad to see her go. It's been, you know, everything that everyone has talked about for the last few days. It's all we've been talking about, too, at our station is when is Morticia going to bloom? Thank you, Shay. Yeah. And if you would like to see or smell Morticia today, the zoo opens at 9 for members and 10 a.m. for the public. Live at the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden, Jessica Hart, WCPO 9 News.